Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube video. My name is Kayla Rundle if you do not know me and if you didn't see my last video I posted I did an unboxing of a lot of Obsessed Garage product for my garage since I have been trying to upgrade my garage lately to make my life a lot easier but I did unbox the Obsessed Garage wall mounted Krenzla pressure washing setup and it comes with everything you need to build the dream pressure washer setup that has everything you need to make it perfect and wall mounted and also aesthetic in the garage. I will be installing this wall mounted setup and I'm gonna show you guys how I specifically did it because I've seen lots of variations on how different people hang up their setup on their wall because it is very heavy so you do have to do it properly into the studs to make sure nothing falls <laughs> p.s all the links will be in the description of this video if you guys are wondering what i did purchase from obsessed garage let's get started i did go to home depot so i do recommend getting a good drill with some good bits so you're able to drill holes chalk plywood lag screws with washers plumber's tape a leveler and a stud finder those are the things that are not included in this og kit i started with a blank wall on the side of my garage and i was careful on choosing where my water system would be close to this pressure washing setup so i wouldn't have to draw a very long hose into my pressure washer i found a good spot in my garage that's also close to an electrical outlet but I did use a stud finder to find where my studs are located and I use chalk actually to draw my wall which I don't actually don't see a lot of people do. Chalk is really great because it's not like a pencil where you have to erase it. You can seriously just wipe off chalk with a wet towel when you're finished. I used chalk to draw where the studs were located on the wall and then I did go to Home Depot and purchase a 24 inch by 24 inch piece of plywood and I did end up painting this my garage color and if you're wondering what my garage is painted the color is called agreeable gray i drilled four pilot holes through the plywood drywall and studs so then i was able to install the lag screws into that i did purchase zinc lag screws from home depot i got the quarter inch by two inch screws which were only about 35 cents each and i went with their paired of washers so I went with like the smaller washers to hold up the plywood and then I used the same screws, the same lag screws to hang up my Cox reel, but I did use larger washers on that. I will put the part code right here on screen if you guys want to get those exact screws for your setup. So I did tighten down all four of the lag screws with the washers through the plywood and the studs. So now the plywood is mounted properly to my wall and is not going anywhere. The cox reel was kind of difficult just because it spins when you are holding it, but I did have to hold it up by hand. There might be an easier way to do this, but this is how I did it. And I chalked basically where the holes were for the cox reel when I was holding it up. So I knew exactly where I wanted it to go. So I held up the cox reel and drilled plenty of pilot holes after I marked exactly where I wanted to drill. And then I drilled in those large screws with the large washers while holding up the Cox reel and it was all mounted pretty simple. And then I just tightened up all the bolts once I had the Cox reel leveled properly. Now to start with installing the pressure washer on the wall, I did purchase the stainless steel shelf for my pressure washer, which I got the Krenzel set up from Obsessed Garage. And this is basically a three piece setup and it does come with a optional hardware kit. The hardware kit helps with installing the Krenzla onto the shelf itself so it doesn't vibrate off later on. I just use skinnier and smaller screws that fit through the holes of the arms on the pressure washing shelf. But I started with the legs of the shelf, which are the 90 degree pieces, and I placed them in, a, in position. Warning, make sure you fake crank the cox reel underneath so you know your hand will not be hitting the shelf once everything is installed. I try to mount it as close as possible so the setup does look much more compact because I just think it looks nicer when it's closer together. And now it's time to lift the Krenzla onto the shelf. Warning, this is very, very heavy and it was hard to lift it above my head. <laughs> I also noticed the cords to the Krenzla pressure washer was quite long. Obsessed Garage actually ends up cutting this wire to the exact length that you need in order to plug it into your electrical wall outlet. But I did want to keep mine long because I do sometimes transport my Krenzla to different places for use and my 
electrical outlet was in close proximity to my pressure washer, so I'm just gonna plug this every time I want to be using it. It is time to install our Cobra Jet gray hose into our Cox reel. So I'm starting with the swivel end. You can see swivels. I don't know if I selected the right thing, but mine came with like a fitting. It was attached with the plumbing tape already on it, so I just had to take that off. So now I have an extra fitting, which is nice, but I ordered, I think, extra fittings, which better to have more than none. You can get some of this plumbing tape. I think people call it Teflon tape at like your local Home Depot, Ace Hardware. They say to uh, wrap the threads six times in the direction of the threads. Really good. Mm. That was so difficult, but I got it pretty perfect actually. This is my first time doing any sort of plumbing anything for reference. I've been doing lots of electrical lately slowly learning that but we're going to take this and the swivel end and put what we just taped into the center of the cox reel and tighten her in basically as best we can get her by hand i just connected this pressure washer so my tools are everywhere into this i just kind of held onto the reel and tightened it here and i added my own like plumber's tape in there after i removed the fitting and i put on a new one this, I don't think this is in the right location. So I think I'm gonna move this piece to this hole, right like on the edge of this lip, just so when I crank it, it'll start, you know, rolling and be organized right there. This is nice. This is just a little screwdriver. I got that bracket in, that is the way I set it up with the screw on the outside because previously the hose went out too far. So now I will reel her up. This is all back. This is gorgeous. I use this little guy to tighten it up so it doesn't move because this can be a lot of weight when it's hanging. Now I'm gonna connect the jumper hose since the hose is connected on the inside, it connects to here and it needs to connect to the pressure washer, obviously. The jumper hose is a, use this as 3000 PSI on it. It's a high PSI little jumper hose, blue for a little pop of color to match the DI tank and we're gonna connect it in there with some plumber's tape all the way up here with a quick disconnect to make it easy. All right, this should go. Oh my goodness, I think I got it all up. I added the little bracket for the extension cord because I'm not installing a electrical outlet over here. I'm just, whenever I use it, I'm just gonna plug it into the outlet since it's very close. Then I got this jumper hose installed. The Cox reel is good and sturdy and it doesn't move if I tug on it, which is nice. And now it is time to test it and see how I like it. So I'm just gonna do like a mini car wash on my daily over here. I just plugged in the Kranzla and I put it back there plugged in so then I can like retract the cord and then hang it up next to the Kranzla when I'm not using it. I did have to replace those outlets because they did pop because of our old Kranzla. So this one does run on like a lower power. So it shouldn't blow. And I do have two leaks, but of course it's two places on parts that I did not replace. So I did not get a new garden hose. My old garden hose is very unhappy. Looks like I might have to order the Continental fancy garden hose off of Obsessed Garage to fix that issue. My garden hose is leaking on both sides, here and in here. The Krenzla and my pressure washer, it all looks great. This moves so free. You just kind of move this knob right here on the side if you want to tighten this or loosen it, depending on how much you want to pull it. I replace the little oil plug that goes on the top 
of the Krenzla, and then let's turn this sucker on. It's so quick. Oh my god, it works. life-changing. I do have a leak here too, but I apparently suck at doing these fittings. It's my first time ever. Tiny little leaks. Luckily, it's easy to fix, but look at this foam. I am using the G-Technic uh, G-Foam or G-Wash. Holy moly, does this work. Everything is working properly other than my leaking on my products that I still own that I still need to upgrade. But otherwise, the pressure washer did great. Try not to run it dry. I ran it dry for a second just because my hose takes forever to fill up with water. And I didn't realize when I plugged it in, it was going to turn on right away. Simple mistakes on my end. But if guys, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so we can all have, you know, dream pressure washing setups in our garage. But the swivel on the, on the Mousmatic uh, hand sprayer, it does swivel perfectly, making it super easy. And I mean, it cleaned my whole car in no time. And I'm so happy to have finally foam on my car. I've been using hose foams, which do not foam nearly as much and just wasting a lot of water, honestly, using my garden hose. Car cleaned up so well with like no effort at all. It's probably hard on camera. I'm sure everything kind of looks good on camera but in person it looks incredible for just a quick, like a soap scrub and rinse off, you know? And then since it is DI water, uh, the car will dry with no water spots at all. I do have like a commercial grade DI tank. I do that because of Sam's detailing business, so that's why I didn't go with the smaller version. So I will have all of the links for all the products I use in this, in this video in the description. I'm super excited to be making a million car washing videos now. I haven't been motivated lately to be cleaning my cars just because I haven't had a pressure washing, but I will definitely be uploading a lot more G-Technic and Obsessed Garage content. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave any comments down below of this video and I will happily respond to each and every one of them if I know the answer. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all have an amazing day or night, whatever time it is, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.